It was a Heritage Day feast starting at Lenter Heer Park in Mitchell's Plain with a display of different Poikikos meals prepared by various Good Samaritans. Young ones from the area were lining up to get a bite for the day, served by the DA leader, accompanied by Provincial MEC for Mobility, Ricardo McKenzie. Well, it's Heritage Day and we're here in Mitchell's Plain. Unfortunately, the weather's not playing its part, but uh, I can see the people are enjoying the food. There's some great poiki course here. We've had some voice rolls. Uh, everyone here is here to celebrate Heritage Day and the diversity of our wonderful country and reflected in the traditional meals, traditional clothes, traditional um, celebrations that we have on Heritage Day, which show the richness of South Africa and that our diversity is, in fact, our greatest strength in our nation. The cooks who competed for the best heritage poikikos competition were announced with various runners-up. And this was the winning pot. I think this one's got a unique flavor and I like the way they put the beans in it as well. This one reminded me of Durban. There's definitely some Durban spice in there somewhere. So it took me straight back to home. And uh, the other one was uh, the, the flavor and the texture was superb. So very difficult, but you've got to have some winners. But I think the ultimate people who make the decision about who's won in today as the community are going to enjoy it. And from the Lentagir Park to the Montclair Old Age Home in the same area, the feast was shared with the elderly. The oldies lined up to enjoy and have a taste of some of the three winning Poikikos pots. And I think people underestimate the huge crisis we have amongst elderly people in the country. The old age pension is not kept up with inflation. Uh, it's hardly enough to feed a family and let alone pensioners anymore. And it makes life very, very difficult. The cost of food has gone up exponentially. Chicken, eggs, meat, vegetables, all gone up. So it's very good to be able to share a meal um, with, with uh, our older folk today. During his interaction, Stian Hazen also encouraged the supporters to register to vote in next year's elections. The DA leader says he is confident that his party will retain its stronghold and the Western Cape province. The DA is going to win here, uh, but only if all voters register and come out on election day. No one must take anything for granted. We've made huge progress here in the Western Cape. We can't afford to go backwards. So we need the people to come out in big numbers and make sure the DA holds on to the Western Cape to make sure that we can continue with our majority here. But then as well, we've got to make advances in other provinces. And there's less than a year left before South Africa's watershed general elections. It will also mark 30 years since the country achieved democracy in 1994. Mercedes Besend, SABC News, Mitchell's Plain, Cape Town.